My name is Andrew Blake, and I am one of the co-owners of Blake's Hard Cider Company. I started uh, Blake's Hard Cider Company about two and a half years ago, came back from Michigan State. Been with the family business since I was four years old, doing various jobs uh, growing up on the farm, and for the past five years, have made my full career uh, in the apple and cider business. We're a family business, been around since 1946. We employ about 400 people seasonally, and about 40 or so employees full-time. Um, I came back after college. Um, I was interning out in Ann Arbor, decided to come back into the family business, and about two years after I came back uh, into the family business, uh, we started Blake's Hard Cider Company, which is an offshoot of Blake's Orchard, Inc. So I've been here full-time for about five years now. There's many things I'm proud of about Blake's. Probably one of the most being is how many people were able to employ. We're the biggest employer in our small town of Armada. I always find that as a point of pride for us. Also, another point of pride is we're the biggest cider mill in the state and one of the biggest in the country for the amount of cider we produce and the amount of people who visit you know, our location. We have about 500,000 people who visit us annually. I'm really happy and proud that we can offer an experience for so many families in Metro Detroit. What I'm also really proud of as far as the hard cider business goes is it was kind of my baby, something that I kind of started from infancy and you know in a matter, you know, it's only been open for two and a half years and we're already the second largest hard cider producer in the state. Hopefully by the end of the year we'll be close to the first. So I think for that amount of growth in such a short amount of time, I think that's something, uh, you know, we can all hang our hats on here. Where I'd like to see the business go from here is I'd like to see us continue to expand the distribution of hard cider. Uh, right now we're distributed throughout every county in Michigan and starting in the northern part of Indiana. And where I'd really like to see us in five to ten years is to be a real household name for hard cider and fruit wines uh, in the Midwest. And maybe at that time starting to look at you know, distribution outside of the Midwest. And that's really, in one facet for the Hard Cider Company, that's really where I see uh, us growing and my hope for our business. On the other side of it, the cider mill side of the business, I'd like to see us continue to grow our entertainment aspect and really solidify Blake's as one of the really unique tourist attractions in the state. You know, I think with the amount of volume we have right now, I think we have a great foundation for that. And I think that if we can, you know, entertain some more interactive type experiences here, farms such as, you know, weddings, corporate events, kind of expand our fun land area, you know, for kids and parents with young children. Hello, my name is Robert Lauer. And I am the cider maker over at Blake's. Heart so I've been the cider, cider maker here at Blake's for a little under a year. I came back home to Elmont from being a winemaker in California. Came to visit Blake's as it was the orchard I grew up coming to visit for hay rides and cider and donuts. When I learned that they were moving forward, full steam ahead with their hard cider program. It intrigued me and convinced me to stay. Here at Blake's, we farm over 100 acres of 40 different varietals of apples, ranging from early to mid to late season varieties, with which we create the blends of our ciders. After they're harvested, they're pressed and brought the juice is brought over to the fermentation room where fermentation will take place and will be monitored over a 40-day period after which it will be filtered and carbonated then hand bottled or canned or kegged depending on the orders that we have across the state. The thing I'm most proud of about being a part of the Blakes is having the opportunity to make a meaningful contribution to the local community and culture and be able to surround myself with talented businessmen and craftsmen who are genuinely passionate about what they do and who they want to live around and make their life out of.